Hi there, Steve McGee, uh, just reporting back. This is our first parliamentary sitting week for 2022. Uh, it's day three of the sitting week, so it's Thursday today where we finish up tonight. Uh, obviously, it's a, a big year on return, a big year, um, an election year. So it's the last year of the four year term uh, for this Andrews Labor government going into an election in the end of November this year. Uh, some of the things that have been uh, discussed and debated this week, or some of the things that I've done, I've done a member statement um, highlighting some of the, the positive um, infrastructure builds and positive projects in Melton, such as the acquisition of the land for the new Melton Hospital down in Ferris Road. Uh, that land is officially owned now by the Health Minister uh, to build the hospital on it, so it's owned by the government. Uh, you'll hear a lot of, or see a lot of rubbish on social media saying that media that we don't own it. Well, it's just totally incorrect. Um, and I know that the opposition leader was out at Melton last week and he made the same statement. You would have thought as an ex-planning minister, he would have an idea of acquisition of land. But anyway, it is owned by the state government to build the new Melton Hospital. And we hope to get on with that later this year. Um, there's also uh, a new ambulance station going to be built at Melton West in High Street Melton West and the construction has already started. Uh, there's excavators up at that site at 759, I think it is, High Street. So we should see a new ambulance station operational probably within the next six months, which is fantastic um, for the Melton community. And it was pleasing over the last week, last Thursday, uh, uh, Deputy Premier and Education Minister James Molino came out to Strathtella Primary School to open up the new school, who has 738 students, which is a remarkable figure in their first year. I believe there's 10 prep classes. It's a beautiful facility and the excitement on the kids' faces was amazing last Thursday. A couple of other pieces of legislation that I've spoken on was um, we had to debate um, the extension uh, of a motion that was moved back in, I think, October last year. Uh, and that was to do with parliamentarians being double vaccinated uh, to be able to um, attend parliament. Um, we, we were seeking an extension of that to May 2022. Um, there's only one politician that hasn't um, done that, had, had double vaccination or proved that he's had double vaccinations. So anyway, that was debated. Um, I contributed to that debate uh, as the Parliamentary Secretary for Health and that motion was carried uh, yesterday. Uh, so there'll be an extension uh, of that resolution and that, that uh, direction that all parliamentarians will have to have be double vax, at least double vax, if not um, third vax with the booster dose uh, to attend parliament. We also, have, while we attend parliament, we have to do two rat tests per week um, to make sure that we're negative when we come into the precinct and also um, when we go back out to our electoral offices. Um, so that was um, debated yesterday. The other piece of legislation that I debated was the um, Public Health and Wellbeing Further Amendment Bill. Um, this bill comes out of the Targeting Zero report uh, in regard to Gerawarra Health uh, some years ago. Um, and there are a number of recommendations made from that report. Uh, one of them was a duty of candor, which um, health services and health um, agencies, even, even including the ambulance service, uh, now have a duty that if there is an adverse um, incident, uh, then they have to inform the family and explain to the family what went wrong. Um, they provide an apology and also they need to inform the family about any measures to rectify um, for the future that similar incidents would not occur and other families would not be affected. So that was a really important bill um, to debate uh, and that'll be voted on later today. And finally, today we're um, uh, debating on what's called the Regulatory Legislation Amendment Reform Bill 2021. Uh, it goes to a range of um, uh, acts in regard to reforming some of the regulatory legislation. Too many acts to rattle them off right here. Um, I'm listed to debate that. Um, we'll see if that happens this afternoon. But that's just a bit of an update. It's great to be back in Parliament. Uh, we're back in the electoral office as of next week and then we're back in parliament the following week. Thanks very much.